Guano, and I created these two paintings. Dependence, and to uh, emphasize the contrast of the two possible futures that uh, we may have, depending on how we address our energy needs in the future. Um, so, based, I mean, there's two ways we can go. We can continue down the road of burning fossil fuels and uh, a hole in the ozone layer. That, or we could, um, we could try to really develop renewable clean energy technologies. Uh, you would think the choice would be very clear, right? But um, what the oil and gas companies and coal industry, they can spend millions of dollars to muddy that up for us. Uh, misinformation campaigns and semantics even. They, uh, what they don't even call global warming, global warming. It's turned into a much less threatening climate change. That's, that doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound like anything we should worry about, right? Just a few words and they make it not so bad. Uh, and they also spend millions of dollars to, uh, to lobby Congress. Well, all right, see, there's another word that's not right. Lobby. I mean, they made that sound less threatening. It's really bribing, bribing Congress, bribing our leaders. That leaders is wrong because they're not leading, they're following the oil industry, uh, whatever they want. So they're bribing our politicians to uh, create legislation and, uh, and put funds wherever, appropriate funds where it helps them. Uh, unfortunately, it's hurting the rest of us. And, I mean, if you don't think so, uh, how many people here think that uh, big oil needs those uh, tax breaks that they right? So I don't think so. And now the scientists, the scientific community will overlap, overwhelmingly agree that global warming is real, man-made, and advancing at a much quicker rate than we previously believed. Of course, the, uh, there are politicians and pundits who will say, insist that, oh, it's nothing to worry about, it's a natural cycle of things. And they'll say, anything those crazy tree huggers tell you is just pure bullcrap. Literally, they've actually funded a study that blames the global warming, climate change, excuse me, on, on cow parts. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Now, I don't think okay. cows are really the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, unless they're driving, they're farting in their SUVs, I really don't think that's the so, and you have, to, you, know, you have to ask yourself, who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the people who are funded by or working for industries that have literally billions to lose if the status quo is changed? Or dedicated, independent scientists who have absolutely nothing to gain, except maybe, oh, I don't know, saving the planet? So, and, it, and you can just look out your window, look for yourself. We've got rising temperatures, we got more frequent and severe droughts and hurricanes like Sandy and Katrina. So we've got to uh, let our voice be heard. We've got to let our politicians know what we want. Right? And uh, so to that end, I, uh, I have some cards of, the, of these paintings here, some postcards. And on the front are the two paths that they can take, that we can all take. Or, and, and then on the back we have um, us telling them which path we want to take. So I'd like each of you to take at least two of these. Uh, one for your senator, one for your congressman. And, um, and if you don't know who your congressman is, just go to house.gov. Because it's important for you to know who your congressman is. But it's even more important for, you, for your congressman to know who you are and what you want. Feel free to take it. Thank you. Thank you.